What is up guys? Thank you for tuning in. This is uh, a breakdown of what the V1 of Chodinko Game Show is going to look like. Right now it's just been a digital board game. I have filters and a Photoshop document and I move everything around. It needs to be turned into an, a, an actual workable game before I can record anymore so that way there'll be a lot less editing. We can start working on the game itself and then we can take it from there. So. Without further ado, uh, this is the start menu. So obviously you press start, then we're gonna go into new game. We're gonna go host, put in your email address and password. You need to log in. Then you got your email address or your, we're gonna select original, okay? So this is where the chodes go. This is where the dimmies go, your dice. This is your jackalaka, your leverage. This is where the cards go. And this is where the criminal charges go. So this is the UI. Uh, this is what we're working with at the moment. and. I have to update this manually every time, so it's just not feasible to make a whole episode and update this myself. This is the character select screen. Uh, we're probably going to replace some of these with just billionaires, so that way when we do inevitably get a cease and desist, they'll be the ones to see it and they'll be the ones who probably want to contribute to the uh, billionaire deluxe Patreon tier. So here, player one selecting Elon, player two selecting Jeffy. Here's the levels that you can select. So we've got the classic, which is the one I designed, and then evolved, which is the one that uh, I hired someone to make. Then uh, we need to decide who goes first. So we've got Rocky, Papy, Sizzies. So Rocky, Papy, Sizzies. Uh, here is what it would look like if Elon was the winner. He picks Papy, Jeffy picks Rocky, and then this is vice versa. So uh, now we're at the very start screen. This is the beginning of the game. Uh, looks like uh, Elon's going first. Is he ready to roll? Let's find out. So first dice roll, that's gonna be a two. It's gonna put him on two. You can see we've got the selection here. I can even use the mouse just to uh, point some stuff out. And he decides to go for the second serve. He goes on a five. That means he gets a game of skill. We've got game of skill up here. It's a random decision. Uh, it's a wheel that'll pick a random game of skill. So we've got random color. Now mind you, random color, it's going to be different. This is just for the purposes of displaying it. So the object of the game is we both guess a color and then whichever one gets it wins. So uh, let's see, we got orange there. So Elon's picked orange and Jeffy has selected brown and it's green the first time. So we go back around and then it's orange. So Elon wins. So Elon gets himself 10 chodes. Right, he's got five more chodes, and then Jeffy has a blank criminal charge. That criminal charge will become not blank if he goes into the court zone. More on that later. So now it's uh, Jeffy's turn. He rolls a three, that's gonna be on three. Oh, but he gets a five. He takes a second serve, gets a five, and that's a fight. Go to sleep, bitch. Die, die. Oh. Now on a fight, what happens is, Jeffy steals all of Elon's money. So now Jeffy's got 15 over here. He also gets a game of skill, so we get a game of skill, and it's cards. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk back. Cards, cards is a great one. So basically with cards, you select a card, you try and guess the card that it's gonna be, and whoever's closest wins. Now, uh, okay, so Elon's got the three of hearts, and Jeffy's got the 10 of diamonds. Guess what, it's a three of hearts. What does that mean, Cho Dinko? That's a Cho Dinko! <laughs> This is a very monumentous occasion. Do you know why? Because it means that Elon now gets 100 chodes. Now, Jeffy gets a criminal charge because he lost a game of skill. Next turn, uh, Elon decides to go to the black market over Black market. Over here. So he's in the black market. This is the black market. There's 14 items that you can purchase. You've got the prices along here. You ignore the prison prices because those only apply when he's in prison. So he gets a jackalaka, that's gonna be 20. Now the price of each one is actually going to increase uh, after he buys one. So I don't have it showing here, but the jackalakas are now worth, they now cost 30 for him to get another one. So he gets the other one, it's 30, so it's 50 total, he's got 50 left. And then he gets another jackalaka, which is gonna be 40 this time, and then that's 40. So he's spending 90 altogether, he's gonna get three. And then boom, so he now has 5x leverage. More on that later. So now it is Jeffy's turn. He rolls a six. Does he want a second serve? No. Oh, it's Elon's turn, whatever. So Elon lands on this one. Now you'll notice he's actually landed on a snake. So what happens here is he actually goes back 
to tile six. So now he's on six, he gets a choice. Now, if you land on the blue tiles, it's either a game of passion or a passionate challenge. He's going for a game of passion. So we got the wheel for the, passion, the game of passion. So, so this one is Jark Jank. So this game, he has to get two words randomly generated and he has to pitch the business to the Jarks. So now he gets to choose how much he wants to wager. So uh, the prize is five, and then he's got the wager. He's got the five X leverage here, as we can see. So when he puts in five, that's gonna be 25 plus five, that's 30. Obviously he's gonna go, he's only gonna wager 10. All right, so he stands to win 55. So uh, the two words are chicken blackmail. So now he has 30 seconds to pitch the business. So he might say something like, okay, Jarks, thank you for joining me. My business is called Chicken Blackmail. We are an app that lets you order chicken that has been charred significantly beyond what any other uh, place is, uh, is selling or whatever, it doesn't matter. And then once the 30 second timer has elapsed, there's the timer, he gets a good job because he's got 55 chode. So good for him. There's no, it's basically just guaranteed money at this stage. The way the Games of Passion will work later down the line will change a little bit, but we don't need to be worrying about that for now. So now it is Jeffy's turn, I believe. Okay, so if he gets a five, that'll land him on 10. So he takes it. Now, because he has gone past the arrest square, that means he is now in the court zone. So now that he's in court, he gets arrested. What you gonna do when they come for you? And he goes straight to the Crimotron. Crimotron 3000. Because he's got two blank crim charges. So the Crimotron will tell you with 100% accuracy what crime you are accused of committing. So the first one is murdering an entire orphanage in a fist fight. So now we can see down here it's been updated. So now he's he's got that murder charge right there. And then he's also been accused of having sex with a horse in a water park. So now he's got two criminal charges here. They've been determined. Now he is in court. It is his turn. Now he has to play either a game of passion or passionate challenge. He chooses a passionate challenge this time. Very interesting. So the one he gets is bitch tartar. How many times did you cheat? A lot. How many times did you lie? A lot. So what he needs to do is pitch a product that combines each item. So there's going to be a number of items randomly generated and he can choose how many items he needs to combine. So I think he's gonna go for the hard one. So the prize for that is gonna be 20 chodes. Now we've got the wager screen. It's a little bit different for a passionate challenge because the game, passion challenges involve convincing your opponent. You need your opponent's approval. So in order to get your opponent's approval, you need to make it worth their while. So you need to offer them something to make sure that they will actually agree to your terms. Otherwise they'll just say no and you lose. So here he is wagering, uh, he's got 15, that's gonna be 30. So the whole prize here will be 50, but then he's gonna offer his opponent 10, maybe sweeten up the deal to 15. And uh, now what else he can do is because Elon has some money and Jeff, he's only got 15, he wants to sweeten up the pot. So he's gonna go to the exchange, he's gotta borrow or loan, he's gonna loan him there's 20, so you'll see the 20 goes up into the wager. And then that means that Jeffy can increase the offer, right? So you'll see Jeffy over here, he's gonna get 55, Elon's gonna get 35. Oh, it's changed now, so it's 50 and 40. Good exchange, and here we go, they have made a deal. So, now he has to combine a product that combines all of these items. So it might just be, you know, a you know, a potato that's as thin as a slice of paper with also a locking mechanism and it tastes like broccoli and it actually it's got a pattern of an American flag on top and uh it's it's like a doll uh more like a transformer. It transforms into different things. So you've got the six items combined. Do you want to buy the product? So this is being asked to the non-player, okay? Because we need their consent. He chooses Yes, and it's a done deal. So both of them now get their money. So you'll see here, Jeffy, he's got 50 and Elon now has 75. So it's a done deal, next turn. Now it is uh, Elon's turn. So he rolls a six, does he go for it? He does. Now, he has gone into the court zone, but he doesn't have any criminal charges. Now he does still get arrested. What 
But he's not going to go to the Crimatron. So now we need to find out whether or not the arresting officers are going to be crooked or clean. So you have to call heads or tails. So he's going to pick tails. He, and it was tails. So now that means he's innocent. So then, uh, yeah, so because he's innocent and he went into the court zone, he now gets a spin on the Wheel of Innocence. So he gets one free card from the black market. He gets a bullshit. So the bullshit now shows up here. And he now gets to choose which game he wants to play. Game of Passion. He goes for a passionate challenge again. So now we're back to the wheel and he gets Chef. Check it out. So Chef is a great one. You gotta generate ingredients and convince your opponent to try your dish. But you have to use every ingredient. Now you can also add ingredients to it, but you have to use every ingredient in the list. So between the soft, medium, and the hard challenge, you get between six, 10, or 15 ingredients. Now he's gonna go for 15, obviously. The prize is gonna be 20. What's he gonna wager here? Let's have a look. So uh, he's gonna increase the offer. He's gonna wager 75 times five plus the 20 is gonna be 395, but he needs to sweeten up the pot here for Jeffy. He's actually gonna offer him 19. You'll see why in a very quick moment, once the game is over. Obviously, most people, 19 wouldn't be a lot when he stands to gain so much, but for the purposes of this game, I've made it so that this is this is the deal. So here are the ingredients here. So, you know, he might say, oh, chef, uh, today I'm going to be making some, uh, you know, graham crackers uh, and sage and tomato juice. I'm going to turn that into a nice uh, roux. Uh, I got some habanero chilies and macaroni in the pot. That's that's going to be a little bit of, that's going to be the, the main. Uh, I've got some sugar, huckleberries, tonic water, and octopus. Uh, that's going to be for the dessert. I'm going to make a, uh, uh, I'm going to make a cake, and then he's got honey split peas, turtle marshmallows, jicama, and haddock, and uh, that's going to be the sauce that goes on top of the macaroni. So he uses all 15 ingredients, and then it's up to uh, Jeffy here to decide if he wants to try the meal. He says yes. It's a done deal. So. Elon now has 376. Jeffy, on the other hand, has 69 chodes. Now that has some significance. Why? Because it's a chodinko. That's a chodinko! And the reason he agreed to 19 is because now that he's got a chodinko, he got himself 100 extra chodes. So when you get 69, when you have exactly 69 chodes, that is a Chodinko, you get plus 100. So now it is Jeffy's turn. What does Jeffy do? He goes to the black market. Black market. So, what does he buy? He buys himself one rat, two rat, and a Chemi Stemi. Very good to have. And a Hunky Dunko. And he buys them there. So the, 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 the cards that he's purchased end up right here. As you can see, I've got them highlighted here. He uses the Chemi Stemi immediately. He steals all of his opponent's money and he uses a, sunk, a hunky dunko to move his opponent back one tile. So now he's got all the money and he has actually moved Elon onto the snakes. You see what happens here. Now he's back on tile six. He is back in the streets. So now it is actually turn the time for Jeff to roll his dice. He gets a three. He takes it. This is a game of skill. So he gets, what do I won't do what you tell me? What do I won't do what you tell me? That's how good the movie. How good the movie? You get four movies to choose from, and you have to guess how what the score is on IMDB. So he decides to go for Terminator 1984. And then they just have to enter the scores. Mind, mind you, there's going to be a time limit for, for all the games just to keep things moving. So, Elon's gone for 8.2. Jeffy's gone for 8.7. It was 8.1. So Elon is the winner in this one. So Elon gets five chodes and Jeffy gets another blank criminal charge. It's blank for the moment, but because he is in court, he's going straight to the... Crimotron 3000 the crime of Tron. So he's been accused of theft, stealing a paperclip in an office building. Very serious charge. Now it is Elon's turn. So Elon rolls a five. I don't know if he wants it because that's going to give him the snake. And he gets a one this time. So he takes the one instead, gets himself a game of skill. 
Let's guess the price. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So guess the price. There's going to be five items. You need to guess the price of each one. It took so long just to get these little number pads to uh, to be entered. So Lego Star Wars Death Star, right? So you they pop in the uh, the guesses. This guy's saying six fifty. This guy's saying four twenty. What was it? It was nine hundred thirty nine dollars. God damn it. So Jeffy wins this one, and but. Elon, he's got a bullshit. He's not too happy with that. So he wants to replay that game of skill. So they play it again. This time, it's a revolutionary American war flag. I was wrong when I said it was five items. They're only going to do one. Because, you know, whatever. I was wrong. Who cares? I'm not re-recording this, okay? We're, we're, very, we're a bunch of minutes in. So what does Elon go for? Elon's going to say 100 grand. Jeffy's saying 750 grand. 7.5 million. Okay. Oh god damn it, it was 17.4 million. Now you'll notice, right, the score the, the amount of money it cost was up here this time and it was down here the last time. That'll all be resolved when the game is actually made. Bear in mind I have to I'm putting all this stuff in manually, so it's not always gonna be perfect, okay? This is a rough approximation of what it will look like. Elon now has a oh and Jeffy, actually, come to mention it, Jeffy now has 420 chos. You know what that means. That's also a Chodinko. So Jeffy now has 520. Now, Elon's criminal charge is still blank because he's currently in the streets. Now, Jeffy, he decides... Black market. I'm going to go to the black market. I'm going to buy some stuff. So he buys a rat. He buys a charclar, a jackalaka. And then guess what? He's back on 420. That's another Chodinko, so he's back on 520. He uses a rat. He uses another rat. So now he's only got one criminal. Wait. He had three rats. Okay, sorry about that. So he uses all three rats. He now has no criminal. He also uses a Charclar to give Elon just another criminal charge. It's still blank because he's not in the court zone, but he still has those three. So you'll see now Elon has five crim charges and Jeffy has none. So Jeffy rolls the dice. Five is going to take him to 18. He decides to take it. Game of passion, passionate challenge. He goes for a game of passion. Game of passion, Irwin. This is great. This is 30 seconds. You just invent an animal. And you can wager, of course. So he decides to wager how much? 520 times 3, because he's got the triple leverage, plus the 5 is going to be 1565. So he goes for that. And guess what? After the 30 seconds, he invented the animal and he gets a holla holla get dolly yell because he got more than 500 chokes. So now he is absolutely raking it in, in terms of the amount of chokes that he has. So what does Elon decide to do? He goes to the black market. Black market! And he buys himself a Hail Mora. This is the secret 15th black market item, and it costs all of your money. So he buys that. That gives him a spin on the Wheel of Innocence, which means he gets a free, well, not technically not free, because he paid five chokes for it, but he gets a spin on the Wheel of Innocence. He gets a card from the black market. And guess what? He won a Chemi Stemi. And guess what? He uses it straight away. <laughs> So now Jeffy has zero and Elon has 1565. And now he goes to the black market to spend. Now this took an inordinate amount of time and don't expect anyone to ever get this much money and go on this much of a spending spree because it is just ludicrous because I had to update the prices of every single thing because it goes both by 10 every time you purchase one. So he gets Chan Jam, a bullshit, a rib stample, a dimmy, a dimmy, a dimmy, a dimmy, a dimmy, uh, flam timmy, two flam timmies, uh, five brick jobs, so many jackalacas, chemi stemmy, rough luck, plim plum. And now he's on 420. How ironic. Now, part of the flaw with the design here is he has so many cards, they don't actually fit, so I just had to put them along the bottom. This is one of the problems that needs to be solved. We'll get to it later. He's got 420. Guess what? That's another Chodinko. That's a Chodinko! 
he's gone up to 520. So now he uses his Chan Jam and the bullshit. Oh no, he doesn't use the bullshit, but you'll see down here when he selects the thing, it'll say uh, what the card is and what it does. Again, this information could probably be shown somewhere else, but for the time being, we're gonna have it here. He uses two Flam Timmies on old Jeffy, which means Jeffy has now lost two dice. He only had one, which means now he's got a negative dice. He's got a nega dimmy, which means he will now move backwards with every dice roll. And obviously this boy over here has six uh, dice, but he used the Chan Jam, which means he moves straight over to his uh, opponent's tile. And because it's in the court zone and he landed on his opponent's tile, that's a snitch. Which means he actually gives him all of his criminal charges. So now Elon has no criminal charges, six dimmies, all of these fucking cards, and Jeffy is just really in a bad spot. Now, uh, because Jeffy has these two blank criminal charges, but he's in the court zone, that means he needs to go to the Crimatron before Elon even takes his turn. Crimotron 3000. Now he's accused of having sex with four dead priests on their deathbed and eating a librarian after a car crash. After his car crash, specifically. Now uh, it is time for Elon's turn. He rolls the dice. Now, mind you, even though he is moving, what, 19 tiles, you cannot bypass the verdict tile, the trial tile, because he needs to go to trial, even if he's got no criminal charges. So he goes to trial. It's the trial of the century, okay? It's the state of Chodinko versus Elon Musk. So hear ye, hear ye, all rise for the honorable Judge Yoda. So here we go. Mr. Musk, accused of which crime are you? Uh, he says nothing because he's got no criminal charges. Selects nothing. And then he goes to the outside. And he's innocent. He is smooth sailing. And because he went to court with no criminal charges, he gets another spin on the Wheel of Innocence. He gets another jack a -laka. So now he's up to 11x leverage. Now it is Jeffy's turn. So Jeff goes to the black market. Black market. And guess what? He also gets a Hail Mora. Now, bear in mind, it costs you all your money. Now, Jeffy technically has no money, but he also is spending it all. You can only buy one Hail Mora per game. So this is, this is like, this is, some might say it's a Hail Mary. I call it a Hail Mora. He gets a spin, and guess what? He gets a Chemi Stemi. <laughs> what are the odds? It's like I predestined this whole thing. So... He now takes Elon's 520 and he goes on a spending spree like you've never seen, except for when Elon did. So gets a couple, gets a brick job, gets some flam timmies, he has to get a bunch of flam timmies, uh, gets a rib stample, and then he buys it all. And uh, does he get a chan He gets a chan jam. He gets more chan gems and a hunky dunko. He, he spends literally everything he has. So now he's got a bunch of cards, right? He uses his brick job. Give me, give me, give me that which I desire. Ooh. Brick job lets you steal one of your opponent's purchased cards. So he uses that. He selects Elon's brick job. Now, you might be able to see where this is going. He steals one brick job to steal another. So he'll steal his brick job, then use that brick job to steal another brick job until basically Elon has no brick jobs. Huge waste of money. And Jeffy keeps one extra brick job at the end of it he uses another brick job he decides to steal his chemi stemi and then he uses the other brick job and he decides to steal his rough luck so now uh it's jeffy's turn but jeffy has a negadimi which means he is now moving backwards so if he rolls a six he's going to be moving closer closer back to the birth top so he doesn't want that so he's going to second serve he's going to get a three he'll take it he'll get a, a game of skill uh, so the game of skill here is Crackjack. Crackjack, not quite like Blackjack, so you, you can either stand or hit. You don't know what your own card is, so you'll, you'll have to figure it out. 
And obviously, 21 would be a Chodinko. So he decides to stand. He decides to hit. That's a jack. And a 4. That would be, I don't know, like 17. But he gets 18. No, he gets 18 because jack is 11. And that's also. So it's a tie. So they're going to go again. And does he stand? Does he hit? Uh, they both stand. He gets a 19. He gets a 17. So it looks like Jeffy's the winner here. And Elon's the loser. Now, uh, so Elon gets a blank criminal charge. Does he? He gets... No, well, he doesn't get a blank criminal charge. He gets a charge. We don't know what it is yet. So he goes to the Crimatron. Crimotron 3000. Now, the Crimotron, he's been accused of arms trafficking 5,000 sniper rifles from Turkey. So it is now the trial of the century because if you remember... Elon is on the trial tile, which means he now has to go to trial. Even though he already went through and he was innocent, he has now been ac accused of a new charge, which means he now has to face the consequences. So he goes back to court. It's the trial of the century again. It's the state of Chodinko versus Elon Musk again. Hear ye, hear ye, all rise for the Honorable Judge Yoda. Mr. Musk, accused of trafficking 5,000 sniper rifles from Turkey, you are. Received 100,000, you did, on September 11th, 2001, it was. Why? And then he's got four options. So we got the dialogue tree. I've, I've got a, you know, the, the, the dialogue tree. It's, it's pretty rudimentary. I haven't even finished it for every single crime. But each crime is going to have its own dialogue tree. And it is going to take you down different routes. So, uh, he can say it wasn't from arms trafficking. What does he go with? Uh, it wasn't from arms trafficking. From what was it then? Uh, so, he decides prostitution. 100k from prostitution? And he says no. From where did the money come then? And he decides crime. So, then we got the closing argument. So, this is when the other player will try and convince the courts of the person's guilt now obviously you can make the case that he got a hundred thousand uh, dollars on 9-11 from crime and he's accused of trafficking 5,000 sniper rifles from turkey so one could obviously make the connection you have 30 seconds to plead your case for the closing arguments and then it is time for him to plead so how do you plead so he can choose at this point, uh, innocent, guilty, or insane. He chooses innocent. Now, if he chooses innocent, then it is a coin flip to determine whether or not he is actually innocent. And he gets innocent with... Come on, Alvin. Which means he makes it to the outside. Now, he, you know, he was accused of something. He did make it innocent, but he doesn't get a spin on the wheel of innocence. So he stays in put. He stays in place. It is his turn now. He decides to go to the black market. Black market. What does he do? He actually goes to select his own cards because you can sell them back to the black market. So he decides to sell his bullshit and he's got 40. And then he rolls his dice. He gets a five that time. He doesn't want the five because that's just going to put him back on 17. You can see there's a snake right over here. Lands on 27, he'll go back here. That's no good. He gets a 2 instead. He takes it. Game of Passion, Passionate Challenge. He decides to go for a Game of Passion. Game of Passion, Shrame Hang. I'll be sucking on a feet. See that ass I'm about to eat. I'll be sucking on a feet. This is a great one. You get 30 seconds, invent a, a sex position. So now he actually has some money to actually wager with. So how much is he going to wager? Okay, so he's going to get 445. That's going to be a nice chunk of change. So now he's got the 30 second timer. So the shrimp hang, I don't know any sex position. Maybe it's called the fireman's fire pole where, I don't know, uh, it has to be, a, it's, it's when a fireman has, uh, it, it sticks his dick in another fireman's mouth while they're upside down 69ing down a fire pole. It can be anything you want, really. You're, you're kind of guaranteed money here. So he gets a what the duck because that is how much money he gets. Um, the, the announcer callouts will be will be different uh, depending on how much shows that you actually earn. Now it is Jeffy's turn. He's in a bit of a tough spot, but he's got plenty of cards. What does he decide to do? He decides to go select uh, the Chemi Stemi. So, so he steals all of Elon's money. 
goes to the black market, does a bit more shopping, buys two dimmies here, because bear in mind, if he rolls his dice, he's gonna move backwards. So he buys two dimmies, so now he's back to one regular dice. And he rolls a two, he takes a three. It's a game of passion or passionate challenge. He goes for passionate challenge, it's casting couch. Here comes the money. Here we go, money talks. Here comes the money. This is where you just need to get the job. So uh, you'll have the soft, medium, or hard challenge. The hard will be three questions. You'll get 20 chodes for that. And then he gets to the wager. Now, obviously, because it's a passionate challenge, he needs to get Elon to approve. So how much is he going to wager here? He's going to wager 300, and he's going to offer him 500. So he's actually going to make less money than, uh, than Elon here, but he really wants him to say yes. So it's a fair deal. They both agree to it. So the the company is uh, in the tobacco farming space. So Elon will ask him, how do you determine whether ideas are worth pursuing? Jeffy gives an answer Then he gets the next question. Talk about a project that didn't go to plan. What did you do to rectify it? And then how did you handle the process? And then Elon has to determine whether or not he answered the three questions. He did. Will you hire a player to no. Oh, but what happens here? Jeffy's been bamboozled. You've been bamboozled. So Jeffy doesn't get the money. He loses the wager. Elon doesn't get the money either. So no one gets anywhere. Now, Elon over here, he's looking at his ribble stample, right? He's got his rib stample. That's going to move him five tiles ahead. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, he's so close to the finish line, he can pretty much taste it. He uses the ribble stample. And we're gonna lay it down. He gets here. And then, guess what? Jeffy reveals his trap card. He's got a rough look that he purchased earlier. What does rough look do? It takes you straight to tile 23 in prison. So... Jeffy's gone, you know, Elon's, Elon's in prison now, okay? So now he's gonna have to go all this way to get to the finish line. He was one tile away. What are the odds? So uh, it is Elon's roll, he gets a one. Now mind you, he rolled the dice, but he's in prison, which means he does not get a second serve. So he just gets a six, boom, lands there. Game of skill. He gets how good the movie again. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me. Again. Now, usually we won't repeat games. Usually I'll have the random selected to avoid ones we've already played, but I made a mistake. It's a long story. Anyway, we're playing How Good the Movie. Anyway, so you remember this one. He decides for Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest 2006. So now they have to guess the scores. So Jeffy's gone for 8.3 and Elon's gone for 7.2. It was 7.3. Elon is the winner. He goes to the Crimatron. Crimotron 3000. Who got the crim charge here? Yeah, so Jeffy's Jeffy gets a, a criminal charge here. So Jeffy's going to the Crimotron. Arms trafficking, 500 machetes to Kansas. Okay, so he is now right there. He got his new crim charge. It is now Jeffy's turn. Jeffy goes to the black market. Black market. Market. What does he buy? He buys uh, two dimmies for a total of 50 and the rat. Now he decides to, uh, he's using his rat. He's using both rats. So now uh, Elon over here, he's got two crim charges and Jeffy's only got six. He knows he's going to the trial tile. It says verdict, we're going to change it to trial. And he is going to have to defend himself for these four criminal charges. It's going to be, it's going to be a tough one. First roll, it's a one. He takes a second serve, it's a five. It goes here. Now it's the trial of the century, believe it or not. But this time it's the state of Chodinko versus Jeff Bezos. Hear ye, hear ye. All rise for the honorable Judge Yoda. It's not going to be Yoda every time. There's going to be different judges. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just doing one judge at a time. There's going to be maybe Judge Bender, Judge Bain, a whole bunch of judges, okay? Mr. Bezos, trafficking 500 machetes to Kansas, you are accused of. Received. Now, bear in mind, because it's still arms trafficking, it's the same dialogue tree. But this is going to go through different options. So, received $100,000? You did on September 11th, it was. Why? And then, you know, you got the questions here. So, he decides to say, I didn't. Why not? 
it's not a good business model. Something Jeff Bezos would say, why not? So why is it not a good uh, business model? Well, he'll just tell you they smell funny. The guns smell funny? Uh, no, I meant foreigners. So that took a racist turn, but you know, that's Jeff. I wouldn't put it against him. So we got the closing arguments again. It'll now be Elon's turn to tell the court, you know, whether or not this guy's innocent or guilty. So how does he plead to this first charge? He pleads innocent. No, he uses his bribey YB. which means he is just completely absolved. That is the fourth option. You'll see Elon didn't have that option, but Jeffy does. So he now uses his bribey YB. He's cleared. He's good. Mr. Bezos accused of stealing a paperclip from an office building you are. Uh, stolen anything? Have you before? And then obviously he's got more, more, yeah, many things apparently. Think you're innocent? Why should anyone? Uh, I've never committed a crime. Bit contradictory, but okay. Really? Uh, so he says yes. Okay. What about war crimes? Uh, technically, they weren't all war crimes. So that, and then we got closing arguments. This is the next charge. And uh, how does he plead? I can see where this is going. He's got another bribey YB. <laughs> so he's totally innocent of that one. Gives Judge Yoda that sack of cash. He is good to go. Mr. Bezos, accused of having sex with a horse in a water park you are. Any pets do you have? I mean, again, I don't really understand this line of questioning, but this is the dialogue tree as I wrote it. Might, maybe there'll be like improvements later on. I, I don't know. You know, we're, we're talking about V1 here. He has no pets. Why not? Uh, I don't want any. Why not? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Real cop-out answer there, but you can always go for that one. Banged any animals, have you? Uh, I don't think so. And then we got closing arguments again. So you got 30 seconds, you know, you can talk about the fact that, you know, he, he doesn't think that he's banged any animals, but I mean, if he was going to bang any animals in a water park, then I might suspect Jeff Bezos, but that's neither here nor there. How do you plead? Now he's used both his bribey YB. So how is he going to plead here? Who pleads innocent? So now we got to do the coin toss to find out whether or not he's innocent. <laughs> And guess what? He's innocent. Boom. Okay. Next criminal charge. Mr. Bezos accused of murdering an entire orphanage in a fist fight. You are a violent person. Are you? Uh, what does he say? Only when I'm sober. Not a good look. Sober now. Are you? Uh, of course I am. How dare you? To take a drug test. Are you willing? Uh, someone drugged me. Any idea who? Uh, Hillary Clinton. Okay, strangely political. Closing arguments again. You got the 30 seconds, yada, yada, yada. How do you plead? And he pleads innocent again. He is not guilty of anything. Okay, so guess what? Wow. Come on, Alvin. Okay, so he is innocent of everything. So he has now made it to the outside. So now, when he rolls his dice, he's going to be in the outside zone. But uh, it looks to me like uh, Elon over here, he's got a little trick up his sleeve. Remember that plim plom that he bought back a while back? Now, the plim plom will move him, move Jeffy over here to his tile. He couldn't do that until after Jeffy had gone to court. So, he uses the plim plom. And Jeffy's over here now. It's a small sacrifice to pay because in prison rules, when someone lands on you, they get all your money. So it's a fight. Go to sleep, bitch. Die, the fuck die. Uh. Which means Elon has to sacrifice five chodes and they go back to Jeffy here. Small price to pay for bringing Jeffy into prison. So Elon rolls his dice, gets a one. Unbelievable. He lands on a snake. I He gets a retrial. He is now back into the court zone, ready to go to trial. He still has two crim charges, but we'll see where this goes. It's Elon now gets to play a game of skill. That's why the game of skill wheel is there. He plays roulette. So roulette, very simple. We're just going to have red, black, or green. Green is the Chodinko. So Elon's going for red. Jeffy's going for red. And it's black. Uh... Elon's going for red, and this time Jeffy's going for black, and it's red. So, 
Elon gets five chodes. Jeffy gets a blank crim charge. It's still blank because he's in prison. There's no point in going to the Crimatron unless you're in the court zone. So now it is Jeffy's turn. So Jeffy decides to go to the black market. Black market. He needs a bit of cash. So he decides to sell his Chan Jam and he uses that to buy two dimmies. Now he's got three dice. So he's got his three dimmies. He rolls those. Doesn't get a second serve because he's in court. Goes over there. Game of Passion. Passionate Challenge. He chooses a Game of Passion. What is this one? Flam Jangle. <laughs> Threaten your opponent. So this again, wonderful game. Uh, he's going to wager five. He'll get 20 for this. That's total. He gets 30 second. Hey, Elon, I'm going to um, break your legs. You know, just go, just have fun with it. It's 30 seconds to just outright threaten your opponent and you're getting paid for it as well. So now it is Elon's turn. So Elon is going to be going to court. Now, remember what I said earlier, okay? Once you're in the court zone, even if you were to go past any of the tiles, you need to stop on the trial tile, the verdict tile to find out whether you're going to the outside or whether you're going to prison, okay? So he lands there. It's, it's another trial of the century, guys, okay? It's the state of Chodinko versus Elon Musk again, okay? So hear ye, hear ye, all rise for the Honorable Judge Yoda. Mr. Musk, accused of trafficking 500 machetes to Kansas, you are. Received $100,000, you did. On September 11th, 2001, it was. Why? And he says, I didn't. Why not? It's not a good business model. Okay, he also thinks it's not a good business model. Okay, why not? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So admit to arms trafficking, do you? You do? And he says, I admit to nothing. So closing arguments. So there's a lot to work with there. Uh, how do you plead? So now... Uh, we will go for insanity. So he is now pleading insane, which means he is now going straight to the arrest hall. He's moving all the way back here into the arrest hall. Now it is Jeffy's turn. He's going to roll his dice. That is eight. He has now made it to the finish line. The game of Chodinko is over, folks. Let's go. Let's go, Chodinko. Chodinko. Let's go, Chodinko. Okay, Jeff Bezos is the winner. Elon is the loser. Last thing I want to mention, though, is if we go back to court here, if he had picked guilty of that charge, it would have moved him two tiles forward in the prison zone. Okay, so if we look at the prison zone, he had two criminal charges. If he had pled guilty to one of them, he would have moved straight here. If he had pled guilty to two of them, he would have moved there. You move two tiles. So if, in theory, you have four crim charges and you go to trial and you plead guilty, guess what? You're going to get a retrial because that's how Chodinko works. You're going to land over here and then you are going straight for the retrial and then you'll, you'll have a game of skill. That didn't come up, though. That was another scenario. Just didn't mention it before, but uh, so that is how the game is won. There's also another scenario where you can win that I will just mention, and that is if you have nega dimmies, i.e. backwards dimmies, and you move all the way back past the birth tile. So, you know, say he had three nega dimmies and they moved him back, I don't know, 15, right? They'll move him past the birth tile and he would actually win. So that's another way you can win. So you have to be careful with how many uh, flam timmies you purchase and use on your opponent so um that is it guys that is how you play chodinko that is pretty much every scenario i can think of this is why it's going to be the best game show in the world now obviously this took me 13 months to make it wasn't like every day but i had to chip out time in my slot to get it made it was very time consuming. A lot of the time I make mistakes with the scores, with, with things, and then I have to go back and fix them. It was a nightmare. But it is done now. You now know how to play Chodinko.